Everything that you see is just like, here's what's wrong with the world, here's whose fault it is, here's what's going on, here's the stuff. And like, oh, you can't, like, it's so hard to escape this stuff. And what's happening is, is you create new neural pathways in your brain, right? Where then your brain is then conditioned to spot what is wrong or out of place in the world, right? And so you, you take in all the stuff on the news or on your phone or a conversation with that friend who's just way too involved with everything, right? And then you're, you're creating this, this sense of you. When you walk out your front door, your brain is like a little laser seeker, and you're looking for that mask, that not mask, that yard sign, that bumper sticker, whatever it is, and your brain is just like, that's wrong, that's out of place, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. And when I realized that was happening to me, maybe it didn't happen to you, bless you for it, all right? But for me, that was happening, and I was angry all the time. Right? When I realized that was happening, I realized the same way my brain had been trained to find what was wrong or out of place, right? I had the ability to retrain and rewire my brain to instead of finding what's wrong or out of place first, I could train my brain to instead identify moments of hope, see uh, fun happening around me, opportunities to serve and love those around me, and I could train my brain to look for that first. much more of it. And, I'm, and, and this is the trick though, is that me looking for it didn't make that happen more, right? And so that was happening. Those opportunities, those moments were there all the time. My brain had just been trained to see other things first, so I was missing out on it, right? And so I've been looking for a lot more fun in my life. And I, I'm going to give you the secret right now. If you're here tonight, you're struggling to laugh, you haven't had a good time like in life recently, it's been a while since you belly laughed, can I give you the secret to find some more fun and joy? It's going to sound very simple, but I'm very serious. Lower the bar. <laughs> Some of you are walking around with your shoulders up here all the time. I'm telling you, fun is free. Joy is free to you. There's a Starbucks next to my house, all right? Last week, it's got two entrances to get inside. I held up two signs that said, please use other door. <laughs> and then you just sit in the parking lot, all right? That's free, okay? <laughs> see the first one, all right? When they walk around the whole building and see the second one? I thought you were going to watch a middle-aged white lady bust through the door. And yeah, nothing's getting between Susan and her pumpkin spice, all right? That's free to you. Here's what you can do. You're having a bad day. I've been doing this for years. You're having a bad day. You need a quick turn me around. Call someone on your phone. Anybody. Call someone on your phone. As soon as they answer, say, hey, I'm busy. Can I call you back? <laughs> Because they're like, you call me. <laughs> like, I gotta go, right? Oh. If you're using your phone and you get a text message, copy, paste, send it back to them. And then follow it up with, oh, well, we just said the same thing. <laughs> That's free, all right? It doesn't even make big things. Either. Like, I was in Starbucks the other day. There's a guy working next to me, and I said, hey, man, will you watch my backpack for me? And he goes, yeah. I said, thanks, man. And then I put my headphones back in, and I just kept working. <laughs> we sat there for half an hour, right? And he gets up to leave, and he goes,